Lucky to be alive. That's how a young man from Iowa feels after being struck in the head by a piece of the Wrigley Field scoreboard. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from outside Wrigley one week after this bizarre accident. Hi, Mike. Bizarre indeed, and it's because fortunately Kyle McAleer and his family are superstitious. So when the Cubs fell behind, they put buckets on their heads in the hope of sparking a rally. Now Kyle believes that simple action likely saved his life. This is the actual bucket Kyle was wearing one week ago. You can see the gash in the blood spattered bucket along with a crack. That gash was left there by a three or four pound scoreboard pin which fell and struck the 20 year old in the head. The McAleers have been wearing buckets on their heads since former Cubs starling Castro and other players began wearing them about three years ago. McAleer, seen here in his hospital bed, says he had put the bucket on about one half inning before the pin fell from the venerable green scoreboard. The doctors said it could have definitely been more serious, major head trauma, probably a fractured skull, brain injury most likely. Uh, and if anything, it, it, could, it could have very well been fatal uh, if I wasn't wearing uh, the bucket. Because the bucket, not only did it cushion, it cushioned the object's fall, but it also deflected it in a way. Now, McAleer's ordeal is far from over. He has multiple staples in his head, which will have to be removed, and then he'll need to be monitored to make sure no other issues crop up. As for the Cubs, they confirmed that it was indeed a loose pin that rolled out of that scoreboard as a tile was being replaced. They also say the scoreboard has now been secured. Reporting live outside Wrigley Field, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? All right, Mike, thank you.